ever had lag while editing? I'm giving a call to a professional full-time editor to get his opinion on how important it is to be able to work fast. When you waste time doing editing, it's like wasting money. We don't have all the time in the world to spend on one effect, or one project. It just slows down the whole chain of making a video. Wasting time is wasting money. You can't rush creativity, so you need to be able to work efficiently because that allows you to be more creative and, and allows you to spend more time on the edit. Wise words from a full-time editor, he should go into script writing. But let's dive into some things that are gonna help you save time inside of CapCut today. So CapCut's got this new feature called a proxy workflow and you need to enable it if you wanna save time. Inside of CapCut on your PC, go to settings, go to performance, and where you see proxy, <laughs> I don't have it ticked, but where you see proxy, go ahead and turn it on. All right, just briefly explaining what this is gonna do. Your files come in in their raw format and sometimes that has a high bit rate. Your computer struggles to process that and read through all the data. It converts that format of your file into a lower bit rate file, essentially reducing the intensity that that has on your machine when you're trying to play and use effects and grade, etc. When you export that video, it's gonna pull back on your raw footage and it's not gonna export the proxy version. So you don't need to worry about having quality loss and things like that. It's gonna use the native footage that came in. The next is actually also in settings. Go to settings, back to performance, and make sure auto render is turned on. Essentially what it does is once you stop working for a moment, it renders or exports that sequence for you to live view once you click spacebar. If you don't have it enabled, it's having to do that live time rendering of all those effects and transitions and color grade and footage. There's a lot more data for it to read. So auto render just does that behind the scenes. So once you click spacebar, that progress is smooth as butter. Let's move on. All right, a huge one in the top right, there's these three lines. Go ahead and click them and say preview. You wanna have that on better performance. Better quality is just gonna show your video in full resolution. There's no real need to do that. Go ahead and click better performance and much like proxy, it's gonna play back or preview a smaller version of that file, enabling smoother and faster workflow. This next one is using presets. Please, I see so many people download a preset, download a sound effect, and then just delete it right after that project. Don't. This is an example of my presets. I have all, I mean, tons, a gig of sound effects. If we just go into different ones, you can see there's folders on folders. And these are all presets from really just years of editing and downloading an element and being able to save it. Now, the important thing here is your file structure. Make a folder on your computer where you save your creative elements, have different folders for video effects, for sound effects, for music, for LUTs, for logo animations, graphics, etc. What this is gonna do is every project that you work on, you're gonna be able to pull existing sound effects from your library and not have to download new sound effects. Now, in addition, there's some presets like motion background, sound effects, transitions that I have made for you guys. If you're keen to speed up your workflow and get access to professional assets, go ahead and check that first link in the description and that's gonna take you to my store. All right, this next one is making use of your keyboard. Now, traditionally, a lot of us may be splicing like this. We go to the split tool, it makes a new clip, we delete that. Or if you're using keyboard shortcuts, you highlight your clip, you click Control B, you select that, you delete that. There's a much faster way to do this. You can see that my best portion of the clip or when I start speaking happens there, so I know I need to cut right before. Highlighting my clip, I just click Q and that's gonna delete everything before my point. Now for the back half, you can see I end my clip here, the waveform ends there. I'm gonna highlight my clip and click W. So it's just a lot less inputs when you're doing hundreds of B-roll clips that you need to sort through and find the best portions for. Using your Q and W keys are gonna save you a ton of time. So this next one is scrubbing through or previewing your footage back in double speed. Now this is a personal request from someone who edits all of their own YouTube videos. He feels like when there's super long takes, having to sit and watch the footage back in normal time can take so much time. So this literally can double your time saving, all right? So when you're watching through your footage, if you click spacebar to play it or the play icon, you can then click L on your keyboard and you can see our timeline has doubled in speed. So we're essentially able to watch our footage back in double speed and again, if I click it one more time, now it's four times faster. So we're able to scrub through a lot faster. It's just a great way you can still hear your audio when that happens. It's just obviously twice the speed, but it's a great way to move through your footage at double the speed. You can make a preset from CapCut and apply that to every single project. The worst thing is 
having 100 clips and having to color grade them all individually, all right? This mitigates that. So you can see on this top clip here, I've just quickly applied a LUT, some saturation, exposure contrast, the footage and the image looks terrible. <laughs> this isn't what I would do for the grade, this is just for reference sake. But once you're happy with your grade on your footage, all you need to do is go save as preset. What that's gonna do is in your adjustment tab, there's an adjustment dropdown, go to presets, it's gonna upload that preset into your space, okay? From here, we have the option to click plus and you have a new adjustment layer added to your timeline. Now, obviously you're not gonna add duplicate color grade to the clip we've just done. So here is an ungraded clip and if I drag that adjustment over to that ungraded clip, you can see that our image actually looks really nice now. So it's applied that LUT and it's maintained all those values that we used from the previous grade. A great way to just have a grade and you can apply it to every single clip automatically. And what's even cooler is it doesn't matter what project you're in, you can create a new project, follow the same adjustment to presets and you're gonna be able to find that adjustment that you just did. And this last one is something that I actually don't intrinsically do well, but in your import tab and your device, go ahead and right click and say new folder. I didn't actually know CapCut could do this until a little while back, but you can rename these folders and inside of the folder, you can have specific footage like A cam or B cam or your B roll or your drone shots. And this is just gonna do a really, really, really good job at helping you to streamline all the footage that you're watching. The worst is having 100, 150 clips in your media bin and you don't actually know what's been used, what hasn't been used, where your footage is, where the drone footage is, where your camera footage is. So create some folders for different things, your footage, your elements, your sound effects, and that's gonna help you quickly be able to access those sound effects when you're working on bigger projects. As the editor said, wasting time is literally wasting money when you're editing. So make use of these tools and if there's anything that I missed out in terms of how you can save time, please put them in the comments, let's have a conversation. I'm sure everyone here wants to learn how to be the most efficient.